Welcome to the Scottish National Portrait Gallery, where a distinguished crowd is gathering for the unveiling of its very latest commission. It's a painting of the Scottish actor Alan Cumming by Christian Hook, our new Sky Arts Portrait Artist of the Year. Nearly 1,600 artists from across Britain and Ireland competed for the chance to win this £10,000 commission. Professional artist Christian Hook first impressed the judges in Edinburgh with his painting of the actress Daniela Nardini. He then joined six other semi-finalists at the Royal Academy Drawing Rooms to paint evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins and the Reverend Sally Hitchener. And in a tense final at the National Portrait Gallery, he excited the judges first with his painting of the actor Ian McKellen and then with a commissioned portrait of the boxer Amir Khan. Oh, wow. oh my God! That is incredible. Blimey. Yeah. This is pretty impressive, isn't it? It's outstanding. It's unbelievable. In this programme, we'll follow Christian to New York, where he'll paint Alan Cumming on the Broadway stage. We'll watch him probe. Your saddest moment, if you don't My mind me asking. saddest moment. If you don't mind me asking. Prod. Just another day at the office. And paint with pure passion, all in a bid to create a prize commission worthy of the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. Let's see the painting. I felt absolutely elated by the fact that I had won the £10,000 commission for the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. Just having a permanent painting hung there is an amazing thing. Um, and I think that, you know, very few artists get that privilege. So I'm really excited about meeting Alan Carmen. He's obviously done a multitude of things. Apart from movies, he's done a lot of theatre work as well. He's won loads of awards and I um, just obviously want to do something that he'll be happy with. and. Um, I also want it to be something that I can be proud of uh, when it's hung there, so I need to please both of us. The Scottish National Portrait Gallery was built at the end of the 19th century as a shrine for Scotland's heroes and heroines. Christian's painting of Alan Cumming will hang alongside some of the most significant figures in Scottish history, from Mary Queen of Scots to the poet Robbie Burns. Christian has come to the gallery to discuss the commission with its director, Christopher Baker. Good to see you. Come, come and see where we're going to put this fantastic new commission. Right here, Pride of Place, is where we put our um, prized new works that come into the collection. And that, that's where yours is going to go. Well, that's a really exciting. It's an it's amazing place. This room is incredible. I've got a few questions for you. I'd like to know what you as a commissioner would like in the portrait. So um, I'd like you to tell me a bit more about what our maybe, expectations maybe, yeah, are. Yeah, sure. Yes. Well, I think, um, I think it's right to say there's not a single formula. There's not a simple formula for a commission like this. And I, I wouldn't dream of telling you what to do. But what I would love is an engaging, arresting image. I'm quite a modern painter. I like focusing on movement. Do I have to be traditional in the way that I work for this space? Um, I was thinking of maybe having Alan um, without his top on or like, would that be okay here? I think that would be fine. I, this is a very traditional space, you're absolutely right, but we like placing in it exciting, modern, um, challenging portraits as well. So um, I'm not going to impose any constraints on you at all. That's great. The options are endless, really. I can have like a, a diptych, a triptych, I can like, you know, divide the painting into two. So it's really exciting. I could do something quite different. Christian's in New York to meet Alan Cumming, who is here starring in a Broadway revival of the musical Cabaret. Coming to New York and painting such a great personality um, is always, I think, is nerve-wracking for anyone. I mean, uh, 
So I'm nervous, but I'm really excited at the same time because it gives me an opportunity to explore what I do even further. Tonight, Christian will watch Alan perform on stage in Cabaret. The drama in it, uh, the lighting, everything will be really exciting and um, maybe I can get some new ideas from this. The whole show was absolutely amazing. It was really different to any play that I've been to before. It's given me a deeper insight into what he does. I know what well, I think that he let me do like more or less anything that I ask. <laughs> so I think it'll be really good tomorrow. For his first meeting with Alan Cumming, Christian's come to his dressing room at Studio 54. Alan's been playing to packed houses here for the past eight months. Hi, Alan. Hello. I'm Christian. Hello, Christian. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How are you doing? Yeah, a bit nervous, but... Oh, have a seat. Would you like a drink? Thank you very much. Gin and tonic, please. Gin and tonic. Oh, how about gin and soda? Gin and soda's fine. Got it. Thank you. How are you? Very well. Thanks. Where are you, <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Gibraltar. Ah. Oh. The Rock. The Rock, yeah. And um, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> when did you find out you'd won? Just a few days ago. It was a great prize. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Thank you. And what, so the last thing was you, you all, you, what, you painted Ian McKellen? Yeah, and um, before that I painted uh, Amir Khan, which I had more time for, oh. yeah, that was cheers. a... Cheers. That was a big painting that I did, like, uh, had more time. For yours, I have four, three or four weeks to do it, which is great. So I'll have be able to do a massive, you know, big piece, which is what I want to do, yeah. How long, so what, how long do you normally take to do a painting? Maybe, but I think two to three weeks would be like a, for a big painting, which is, I like working like, you know, large sizes. So it's, um, it's what I want to do for this one. And the space that they've given me in the Scottish National Portrait Gallery was quite a large space. But you've seen it, you've seen yeah, where yeah, it's going. Yeah, yeah. It's a fantastic place, so... Yes. So, over the next couple of days, you'll be doing, like... Just some sketches. sketches so I, whilst you some photographs, too? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I was thinking, like, you know, just, just the face or just the top... Like, it wouldn't really represent what you do. Yes. Um, and who you are, so I think I thought, like, a full-body one, so a front and a back, and in each one, we could have something different. Right. Hopefully with a kilt or... I don't know. Um, I had a few ideas that I want to discuss. I with you. I've got a kilt. I've got lots of kilts. So I love to um, wear a kilt. I'd be great to wear a kilt. In, in yeah. So nice as I go drawing you, we can maybe discuss a few different ideas. So if you're okay with that, yeah, then... yeah, no, I'm I'm open to anything. Great. <sighs> Christian brings Alan back to the stage to paint his first study portrait. It's an opportunity so for him to get to know his subject. Imagine you want me to sit here. Yeah, two gin and tonics. No, this is a vodka soda and a soda water. <laughs> this is how I've maintained my boy's good looks all these years. <laughs> hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. <clears throat> so the pose, something that's relaxed for today. The lighting's quite good, so if you tilt your head up slightly, that's really good. And look to the side, maybe. Yeah, that's great. OK. So if you can find a point somewhere. I've got one of the lamps upstairs. Yeah. yeah. My first question is, um, whilst you're looking up there, so what is it like being a mega, super famous person? Um, well, it happened in uh, degrees. It didn't happen, it's not, it's not like it was like one day I thought, I woke up and I thought, oh, I'm really famous. But I just kind of think, it's just my life and I don't feel it's like, like this is just my life, you know? I yeah, mean, but what, did, all... what did it feel like when you saw yourself the first time maybe in a, in a movie or in a blockbuster or in a... Oh, well, well, the first time I saw myself in a movie, I remember thinking, I can't believe it takes my nose 15 seconds to come on screen before my rest of my face. <laughs> 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 Good That's point to notes for our portrait <laughs> together. <laughs> but, uh, Gosh, you're very violent in your canvas. I'm very violent. Yeah. The Scottish National Portrait Gallery is one of my favourite buildings, and to actually have a, a permanent 
painting there. It's, it's you know, it's a really an amazing thing for me. It's from you know, being in Scotland and being with all these uh, great Scots, sort of for forever, is a really beautiful thing. Over the next three days, Christian will create three painted sketches of Alan. He will need to find an arresting composition if his painting is to make a splash at the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. Christian Hook is in New York to paint the actor Alan Comming. An hour into his first sitting and he's starting to scratch beneath the surface of his subject. Your saddest moment, if you don't My mind me asking. saddest ask, moment. If you don't mind me asking you. I don't know if this is the saddest moment in my life, but my, my dog died recently and it's just been so difficult. I was devastated when my dog died. I yeah. think it's really sad as well. And she had a great life. And she was dying for a long time, but nonetheless, it was just so awful when she died. I mean, I don't think I'll ever get over it. Huh. Yeah, it's bad. Any easier questions? Yeah, question? okay. <laughs> right, so um, I know you're really patriotic, so can you talk a bit about that part of your life, how you feel about being a Scot? Well, it completely defines me, I think being Scottish, and that's why, like, you know, the referendum recently for me was really difficult, because I think in my life, I, I think yeah, the Yes campaign is very much about how I live my life, like about, I, I take what, is, what I've learned from my country and my upbringing, and I, I go out into the world and I, I say yes, and I, I really felt connected to that campaign to that political movement because of that. And then for that to fail was like a, a, a defeat for me in a way because I, that, that, it's a way of life for me. Every description of me, every time you see my name in a, in a newspaper or whatever, it's always prefixed by Scottish. So I'm reminded constantly of my heritage and it's something I take very seriously. I'm very passionate about my country. I, I feel, perhaps because I've been away from it for so long, I understand more what it is about me that is Scottish. Because I, I think when you're at home, when you're in Scotland, everyone's the same. And it's only when you're away that you think, oh, I see, that is something very Scottish that, I, that I, is, is in my genes. Apart from being a superstar and an actor and a great actor, which I want to portray as well, is there anything else that you'd like to be shown in this piece? I would like fun, I would like, I would like joy. You know, like Grant, my husband, takes a lot of pictures and I don't know he's doing it. And I see such joy in my face and I realize I do communicate that to people. That's very important to me. So that would be good, some, some form of joy. Do you do joy? I do joy. <laughs> Not often, but for you, I'll do it. <laughs> I feel it should be a collaboration. I would just hope that my spirit comes through and you know rather than how I look or how I you know where I am in my life I just just my spirit is what I, I would like to be in that gallery forever. I know that sexuality has been an important part of your life as well yeah. so uh, sexy, that's an important joyous. part yeah 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 I mean I think the kilt idea straight off is a really good way of expressing because it's such a sexy thing to wear. It's kind of, because <laughs> you don't wear anything underneath it and it feels really great to wear it. And it makes you, it's, it's a very handsome article of clothing. And yet at the same time, it's a little transgressive. It's a little, little trans, you know? All this formal stuff in this museum, uh, maybe some nudity or some sexuality would contrast to what's there already. And if I do it tastefully, it'll look different yet striking and, you know, so I thought like that something like a semi-nude or something would look yes. would be like interesting. If you agreed to that, obviously. I agree. Yeah. Maybe I could have my bum out on the back part. <laughs> yeah, I think that's You might great. as well, because I'm yeah. walking up those five floors every day. My ass is in really good shape right now. You should get before <laughs> it starts to fall. I think we should go for it then. Let's do it. I'm done. Yeah. Ooh, let's see it, let's see it. So this is my uh, 
sketch of you today. Oh, I love that. I feel you've really got me. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I'll sign it and you can give it as a gift to whoever you want. Oh, really? I get to keep this? Yeah, you get to keep them all, actually. Oh, I do? Yeah. What about so, the one that goes to the Scottish National Park? No, that one obviously <laughs> goes there. But all the others you Damn can keep. Damn it! <laughs> Thank, thank you very you much. Me. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Ah, uh, thank you. Wow. Sometimes I feel like I have a slight issue with... Because everyone says how boyish and blah, blah, blah I am all the time. And when I, when I see myself as a man, I really like it. If this was in the Scottish National Portrait Gallery, I'd be very happy. So... Yeah, but I wouldn't. And then, <gasps> I know you wouldn't, because you, you want my ass. <laughs> <laughs> My sitting with Alan was brilliant. I discussed the ideas that I had with him, and I think that, you know, hopefully we can collaborate in, you know, in finding something that, like, it'll be like a reflection of him as well as a reflection of myself, really. Forty-two-year-old Christian is originally from Gibraltar and divides his time between there and London, where he also has a studio. One of his main aims as an artist is to find ways to make the painted image feel less static. Capturing movement is extremely important in my art because drawing what I see and that being an end result wouldn't be enough. For me anyway, particularly, I need to have something that will break away from reality. Anything that the camera can do, um, by itself already is uh, I think that in art in general, there has to be some breaking away, some creativity or some objective. There has to be something, something else. It's not just the image. Having trained as an illustrator, Christian only began to make a living from his painting three years ago. He was starting to build his reputation in Gibraltar when his work came to the attention of a London gallery owner. For the last few years, I've been going over to Gibraltar and discovered Christian when I was on holiday over there with some family and was totally blown away by his work. It's a privilege to be working with a gallery in London. It's in a great place. They do sell a lot as well. So for me, it's fantastic. I mean, having work in galleries just to, you know, just to hang it up and that's it. I mean, it's great at the beginning, but if you're going to make a living out of it, you need a gallery that is going to do well as well. I think one of the key things about Christian's work is the movement that it gives. We're sitting in Mayfair, so one of the biggest capital, art capitals in the world, so there are 40 other galleries. Christian's work stands out because there isn't anything like it here. The movement he creates in his work through this time lapse, I think, captivates people, and that's really, really technically hard to achieve. I've got one motto that I use all the time in my work. I have to risk something and learn something from every piece. And if I have that in mind, I'll never stop developing. He is an artist that has worked so hard every single day to get to where he wants to achieve. So for Christian, this is just the beginning. This is just the stepping stone for him. He wants to go way up there and he will do everything he can to get there. Um, and he wants people all over the world to be able to see and have his art and appreciate it. With a painting in the Scottish National Portrait Gallery, Christian will be one step closer to fulfilling his ambitions. Building a rapport with Alan Cumming will be essential if he's to create a painting he can be truly proud of. Portrait Artist of the Year, Christian Hook, won a commission to paint the award-winning actor Alan Cumming for the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. Hi. Before his second sitting with the actor, he's come to Central Park to get an insight into how it feels to be on the other side of the canvas. It's difficult to sit still, really difficult. I thought it was a lot easier than this, but I'm not a very good model, I think. <laughs> I don't like the fact that I cannot see what's happening on the other side. I really want to, like, you know, glimpse all the time. So um, I can't wait for him to finish. <laughs> yeah. You want to show me, or...? Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's good. <laughs> very good, Wally. Yeah. yeah. 
Great, thank, thank you very you. much. I'm great glad artist. You, I'm glad you like it. Thank you. You're a great artist. <laughs> He's handsomer, so I'm happier. Yeah. <laughs> it's still like daunting, you know, sitting down in front of someone, like scrutinizing you. You start thinking, you, you can feel, almost feel like everything is looking at. And I look at the person a lot when I'm drawing, so it must be really like, you know, an uncomfortable thing really to be like looked at constantly. Actually, it's given me a great idea for this evening. Christian's second sitting will take place in Alan's dressing room. It's the scene of so many after-show parties, it's become known as club coming. Hi again, Alan. Hello. <laughs> We're here at club coming. That's right. <laughs> it's a brand. Right, I've got a suggestion for you. Uh -huh. um, I went to the park today and uh, had my portrait painted. You did? Yeah, I did, yeah. And I just thought it'd be a good idea to do, um, instead of doing the same procedure, you know, the same thing every day, um, and doing a portrait of you and that's it, I thought, what well, if we switched over? And um, you interviewed me for like 10 minutes, but you paint and I sit here and you can doodle around. <sighs> and when you finish doodling, I'll keep the bits that I like. So it's like, a collaboration. I love that. And you just can, like, you know, start doing shapes, patterns, whatever you want. Once you're this is talking great. to me, this is not how so, it's going to go. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be the actor today. Uh, All right. What does this mean to you, winning this competition? It's just really interesting. Um, a different, a different outlook on how to do something. It just pushed me a bit further. You know, I just want to develop my painting to the highest level that I can, and that's it. It's a personal thing. That, you're um, a wise man, Christian. Sorry, can I just ask you to... Don't look! <laughs> can I just ask you to, like, make more mess if you, if you want to? More mess, like, yeah, yeah. you need. You can have, yeah, yeah, you can oh, just right. go crazy, actually, on it. Like, right. uh, and then I'll just uh, keep what you've done, but, like, if you want to do, you know, anything, like squiggles or, like, patterns or marks like a caveman, <laughs> it's OK. Thank you very much. Prego. So, Alan. Yes? You were doing some stuff here. There was like a... So you've now just painted over. There was a flower. And then... Yeah. I always, when I doodle, I always do a flower. That's what I just always do. OK. A flower and a flower. I didn't do the pot, actually. I normally do a flower pot. I don't know, I just like drawing flowers. And um, there's also a yes written now. The yes is sort of obviously connected to Scotland and the yes campaign and everything that oh, just, right, yeah. just um, didn't happen. Is that a sheep or is that your dog? That's my dog. That? Oh, it's your dog. It's right, a flower yeah. and then a dog. Right. That's honey, actually. So how much are you keeping with my fabulous painting and how much is with, with your keeping, shitty one? I'm keeping... I'm letting you keep that side. And I'm working on this side, so it's like... This is like we're a couple and it's my side of the bed. And you're... We, we are. <laughs> but now you're going to come back a little bit and let her like work with up. me and, like, you know, spoil my painting a little bit and um, <laughs> add your flowers inside or something and then we'll finish Oof. it together, the last bit. So I think that it could But what, work. what is the purpose but of this? The point of it is that um, the way that I work, which is in consecutive layers and trying to find interesting mistakes, allows for someone else to do something. I've never done it before, so, like, you know... And also, when you give it away, it's uh, to whoever it is you're going to give it. It is a collaboration. You actually have painted it. So it's yeah. great. We've done it, like, together in a way. So, Alan, do you want to come up and help me finish it? So yeah. I'll finish it together. OK. So um, there's your brush. Yeah. And just, like, basically carry on colouring in your the dog and the flowers and whatever it is, and I'll just add a few more. So we had one here, yeah? That was yours. I think I, I like, it makes me look a bit like Minnie Mouse. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I like it. I don't, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. So we can sign it as well quickly. Oh, can we? You sign it too. All right. So now you're going to do yours, wherever you want. 
You got on the face in there, and you got in the corner, wherever. That's it. I think it's got something. Okay, hey, thank, thank you very it. much. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Great. Thanks, man. Look at us. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I look so happy. I love my little mini mouse ears, my Fida Caro moment, and oh, I really like that. It's got honey, it's got flowers, it's got yes. With only one sitting left, Christian has come to his favorite New York gallery, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, to get some inspiration for his final painting of Alan. Raimundo de Madrazo y Gareta is uh, one of my favorite painters of all time. I've always liked him since I was like, I think that is one of the first painters that like, you know, really inspired me. And every time I see one of his paintings, for me, it's like, it is a fabulous, like, absolutely incredible technical representational artist. So, although my paintings are not totally representational, I am faithful, or I try to be faithful, uh, to the colours that I see. So, my observational skills have to be, you know, I have to work on them constantly, and that is what I like from this, the accuracy of colour. Velázquez is one of my favourite artists of all time, definitely. What inspired me the most is his use of sfumato, which is the blurring of edges, which gives a painting continuity and a little bit of movement. And the other thing is the layering of paint. He uses really thin layers of paint on the dark colors. So, for example, around this area in the sleeve, you can see the brown underpainting and then very thin layers of translucent paint. Obviously, in all of my paintings, I always have the lessons that I've learned from Velasquez in all of the work. The concept of having more than one angle inside a painting appeals to me a lot because I like the fact that when you look at my paintings from far away, it's a convincing image, but when you get close up, you see the different layers of different angles. So I guess there is a little bit of an element of cubism, or the concept of it anyway, in my work. In the Alam Kamen painting that I'm going to do, well, in, and in all my work, I try and get different angles of something and get the illusion of, of movement in it but I also have the opportunity to put in more information, just like the Cubists do. I think the whole place is just really inspiring. I've had some new ideas for my Alan Cumming painting, and I'm gonna try a couple of different things with it to see how it goes. With only one sitting to go, Christian is ready to share his ideas for the commissioned portrait with Alan, and they are far from traditional. As the curtain falls on another performance of Cabaret, Alan returns to the stage for his final sitting with Christian. It's the artist's last chance to run through his ideas before embarking on his commission for the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. Two things for you today. What? I need to take some photos for your painting. But first, we're going to do a bit of dancing, and I'm going to paint. I remember. Whilst yes, you're dancing. yes, I see. So, um, you did some painting with me, and you had, um, you talked a lot about your honey, your dog. Yeah. And um, you said like flowers and stuff, and I like the idea of the yes thing. This is the yeah. yes campaign target. Yes campaign, yes. So, um, you know, yes, if I flip it over, it says say, so I can have like in the mirror image on the diptych, I can have the say and the yes on oh, you. I, I could, I could. Yeah. And um, I also have a small jar of honey <laughs> that will symbolize honey. Ah. So. Ah, that's nice. So I just have to draw on you. The yes sign, and then the, so okay. I think I'm gonna have a yes here. And on the back, we're gonna have. Just another day at the office. For the previous two sittings, Alan remained seated. For this final portrait, Christian wants to shake things up a little. I'm gonna play you 
a song that you really like and you're going to dance to it and I'm going to paint in the same movements as you're dancing and I'm going to make a right mess and I'm going to try and keep some parts that I like yeah. and paint your face over the parts that I don't like, basically. So this is like a, I'm going to layer it with the music. Done. Finished. Finito. Oh my God, look at that. Anyway, I'll hold it up for you. fantastic. Thank you. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. You can hold it up. And this is me. This is fantastic. The lighting Thank you. Is, the, the, Thank but you. look at the lighting in this. Christian, I think this is your best yet. Oh, really? <laughs> Face will be bigger. With all three sittings completed, all that remains is for Christian to take the photos he will work from for his commission painting. So I think that we'll photograph it facing that way. The lighting's probably better, yeah. yeah. Well, they can do that later. That's fantastic. Take a machine gun. <laughs> now just your, your head, move your head, tilt your head to the sides a little bit. That's, that, that is really good, that one, I really like it. Great. Like that? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, further forward, but more forward. That's it. And look this way. That's it, yeah. That's great. I think I've got enough. These, yeah, really. Look. After three days of observing Alan in New York, Christian has returned to London to start work on the painting for the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. He's working on a large scale, so he's using his gallery as a studio. This is the image that I've chosen. Um, but the reason why I've chosen it is because, um, first of all, his kilt is in his neck in the wrong place. It gives a sense of some fashionable mistake that's good in some way, um, I think, anyway. Having the, the kilt on the neck and having these straps there gives it a sexual connotation of dominance and submission. The pose itself is like a really glamorous Marilyn Monroe beach pose or something. He looks really proud in this photo. It's very theatrical. It's got the jar of honey, which symbolizes his dog that just passed away, honey. I'm not doing a diptych in the same way as I explained in New York. Um, I think that the the imagery that I've got now, and after looking at the photos, after looking at the videos that I have, um, I found another way of doing it, which I think is uh, gonna be more successful. 
The second image is gonna have different angles of him, like turning around. Hopefully it'll be like a very different type of diptych. Even at this stage, I can have accidents that I love, that I want to keep. There's something about Turneresque, about the black mixing with the amber here, that I like already. So within my mess, I try to be careful not to lose the bits that I like. In a portrait, if there's one millimeter off an eye, the nose is one millimeter bigger than it is, the mouth is slightly in the wrong place, it's no longer that person. So I have to try and make the biggest mess ever and still retain the proportions and everything exact. So that play with both things is really exciting. Really, right now I'm just making a mess, intentionally. So hopefully I'll continue this process for like a few days. And when I'm, it's messy enough and I can't see anything at all, then I'll start like choosing some bits to leave out. Six weeks later, a specially invited crowd gather at the Scottish National Portrait Gallery for the unveiling of Christian's finished painting. Guest of honour Alan Comming has flown over with his husband Grant for the occasion. I tried to do a diptych, but the two paintings didn't really work together. So I'm unveiling a single painting today. But I'm really excited and really nervous at the same time. Hi, Christian. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. How are you? Very well, thank you. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. I'm excited. I hope that you like it. I can't, I'm so excited, I'm sure I will. <laughs> when did you finish it? Is it dry? It's dry, <laughs> <laughs> it's dry now. It took a while though, yeah. but um, I'm happy with the result myself. I'm just hoping that you like it. That's I can't wait. So, Alan, uh, when one sits for a portrait, you expect to kind of sit very, very still and be studied and be passive. That wasn't your experience, was it? No. <laughs> it wasn't much sitting. It, I, I was really like, oh, what's this going to be like? You know, and it turned out to be the most fun, amazing thing. And yeah, I ended up dancing to Emilia Callas' aria. Yeah. Uh, whilst he and flung And flung and painted that painting, yeah. That was the craziest thing. Christian is a bit special as an artist, and uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah. I, I, and also, you know, I think he's got... I kind of, like, recognise a kindred spirit in a way in terms of our energy and our um, sort of... That's because you were both drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, the time is nigh. I think this is the biggest honour I've ever had bestowed on me in my entire life, to have my portrait in this amazing hall of the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. It's honestly big. But actually, what I care more about is the fact that in the, in the process of it, it happening, I had this amazing um, chance to meet this man and have this collaboration with him that I never thought was at all going to be part of the experience of sitting for a portrait. Everything that he suggested and put to me, I thought was fun and exciting and kind of slightly seditious. <laughs> and I'm just so honoured and I'm like, Super excited now. Take off the black robe. The honour is okay, so. My um, I don't know who's more nervous, Christian having painted this, Alan for being in it, I think or, we're all nervous. or me <laughs> that I might bring the whole thing down and kill Joan Bakewell. <laughs> <laughs> A national institution. Anyway, this is the culmination of Sky Art's Portrait Artist of the Year for 2014. Let's see the painting. I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's so great. So there's the kilt. Ah, there's the kilt. Not quite where it's supposed to be. No. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, and honey. So, Alan, uh, a question springs to mind. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I, I just am overwhelmed by how much I love it. It's amazing because, like, 
it's like up there, that's like completely me. It's completely sort of yeah. naturalistic me. And then the whole thing kind of like deconstructs around it. And I love that. Like there's sometimes pictures, like, you know, you do a picture for a magazine or something, you think that's, and you're like, oh, I can't believe that that's going to be there forever. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm so proud that people will come and look at this picture. And it's this is also, so great, the jar, the yeah. honey jar, and the say yes. And it's if I may say so, a big political statement. It's political, actually. but it is also very sexy, if you don't and mind also me sexy. saying. <laughs> I do look like I have a mangina, though. You know, when they, when they <laughs> say there's nothing worn under the kill, I didn't think they meant that. <laughs> Now, Christopher, when you met Christian, you said you don't have to be conventional. He hasn't been conventional. Absolutely. I don't think he's been conventional at all, but I'm thrilled with the results. It's a wonderful acquisition in addition to the collection here. It seems to me it's a portrait all about performance. It's about, obviously, the brilliant performances that Alan Cumming give, but it's about performance as an art form as well. It's a very exciting picture. He is a very impressive young artist. Undoubtedly. And I think this marks a landmark in his career. I think that's right. He's going to go on to do amazing things. Well, everyone at home now will be thinking, what on earth do the judges think? So? Right, it's an incredible painting. It's really exciting. It's very difficult to see the painting. And I thought that was might be a drawback, but actually it makes you look harder. So, But I think it's that scene that works so well because you're immediately drawn to that top left-hand corner with the face. That's what you connect with primarily, great portrait. And it's only then, once you've negotiated that face, that you start to look across the painting, your eye travels. Christian's done this very cleverly, so you move across and you read all the narrative. Yeah, no, I agree. I think, I think it's got a lot to it. And I think one of the things that I think is really interesting, for me, it feels like a development of Christian's work because actually what we're seeing here is a sense of duality between this sort of stage-like figure and the man. But I and think I think it's gorgeous. I, I think Christian has grown, hasn't he, yes. in the course yeah. Yeah. of yeah. the competition. And this is really transcends yes. what he's achieved so far. Before Alan flies back to New York, Christian has one last surprise for him. Oh my God, what? Oh my God. <laughs> so it's for you to take home, and I hope you like it. Christian. Oh my God, really? I get to take this home. This is like a quiz show that I've won the prize. <laughs> <laughs> I God. just did, I did a diptych, but I thought, like, I'm not going to do a diptych, I want to do two paintings so you can take one with you. I love that. Oh, Christian, thank you so much. No problem, that's amazing. I'm glad you liked it. This has been the most wonderful experience I've ever had. If you would have told me when I entered the competition that I would have a painting in the permanent collection of the Scottish National Project Gallery, I would never have believed it. You know, it's just a dream come true.